The next one, I actually don't know anything about. Oh, look how pretty that is. Ah. The next one is another case of my favorite book, but I just want a different cover. It's just so cute. I love these small books. I think I talk about Skyward way too much. Hello, wonderful people. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing amazing. My name's Bianca. You can call me B, and welcome back to Books with B. So today, I just want to have another chill video because I'm still not feeling the best from my booster shot, but it's all good. Today, I want to show you guys my book. Haul. This is my first ever book haul in this channel and I just I'm just really excited. I honestly don't know how these work. I don't really have like a sequence for it, so I'm just gonna pick up whatever book that I have here and show it to you guys. Also, just a little thing, just a little side note. I might not know a lot about these books because I really like going in blind with reading books, so I might not have the best descriptions of these books, but just in case, I'm gonna put all of the Goodreads links of each book down below. Let's get started! <laughs> So the first book that I picked up in this pile is A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir. I, you have already seen this if you've seen my previous vlog. I am currently reading this. I am halfway and I am loving it so much. If you guys don't know, this is the fourth book of An Ember in the Ashes. I've already talked about An Ember in the Ashes in my previous video. So if you want to know what An Ember in the Ashes series is about, you can check my first video out because I think that's where I describe it the best. The next one is A Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothkiss. This is the sequel of The Name of the Wind, and I'm currently reading The Name of the Wind, and I am currently loving it so much! Uh, I have never felt this giddy about a book for so long, so basically all I know about The Name of the Wind, we follow Quoth, that's his name, and basically we just see how he becomes a hero in this universe. Um, he's very well known, but very secretive at the same time, and we basically just follow him telling someone about his whole life story, and I love that about it. Um, it has a magical school as well as I know. I'm not there yet in the reading, but yeah, I'm so excited for it, and I cannot wait to get into this book. They are very brick-like, both of them. Even The Name of the Wind is the same length, and I just, I just love it. I love it already. I'm only a hundred pages in and I'm I'm loving it so freaking much. So I also got e! the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. <laughs> Grady Hendrix, seriously, just his work just went to my heart because I love it so much. So I'm guessing this book is just about a book club that discovers one of their neighbors is a vampire. Usually Grady Hendrix books the plot is in the title. It's very straightforward. Basically, the book club's members are mostly moms, so this is gonna be like just imagining your mom being a vampire slayer. It's just, it's just so fun. I just feel like it's gonna be so fun. I can't wait to read this. I will probably read it even if it's not like Halloween or anything. Uh, I just, I love Grady Hendrix so much. If you haven't read any Grady Hendrix books, please, please do. Especially if you love horror and Halloween style books. It's, uh, he's, uh, he's amazing. The next one is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> I think I talk about Skyward way too much. So I'm not even gonna tell you what it's about. Again, if you want to know, please visit the video that I'm gonna link up there because I talk about Skyward too much in this channel. <laughs> so um, I actually just bought this because I love the cover. This is the UK edition and in the Philippines, we are being sold the American edition, which is still very pretty, still very beautiful. It's this. This one, this cover, it's still very, 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 very beautiful, but as a book lover and as a big, big fan of Skyward, I just want both of these to be with me. So the next one is another case of my favorite book, but I just want a different cover and it's The Book Thief by Marcus Uzak. I am in love with this cover and I am in love with the fact that this is pre-loved. Also. The Skyward one is pre-loved too, so oh, amazing finds. So yeah, The Book Thief by Marcus Uzak. I love this cover. It's just 
Look at that. Look how simple it is. And it's just... Ugh. So basically, it is a World War II historical fiction uh, that's set in Nazi Germany. It's the time where they burn books. And our main character just falls in love with words and books and tries to save them. Basically. But that's not the whole plot. Because I swear to god, the whole everything is just- just read it. You will cry. <laughs> yeah. The next one is Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. Again, I will not talk about this because it's part of the Skyward. This is the third book of the Skyward series and I, I said I have been talking too much about Skyward in this channel but I don't care because I love that series with all my heart. Next is The Little Prince by Anton de Sal... <laughs> I'm sorry I will not pronounce that. Anton de San X. Did I say it right? I've never studied French, so I'm sorry if I butchered that. Um, but yeah, this is actually a gift from my close friend, Shello. I love her so much for giving this to me because now this is one of my favorite reads. It's actually my first read of 2022 and it's just amazing. Such a masterpiece. The next one is another historical fiction. It is The Nightingale by Christine Hanna. All I know about this one is it's a World War II historical fiction set in Nazi invaded France. That's all I know. I think we follow two sisters, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I just cannot wait to read this. I have been delving into historical fiction a lot and I've heard this is one of the best. I hope I'm not hyping myself too much, but we'll see. I definitely am planning to read this during this year. And yeah, I cannot wait. If I cry, I might put it on camera. So just, you know, look out for that. <laughs> the next one that I bought is The Bridge to Terabithia. This is the special 40th anniversary edition. It's so cute. Um, I've never actually read this yet. I've watched the movie, cried over it. Um, I think that was the first time I've seen Josh Hutcherson in a movie and I was a kid and he's my first ever actor crush. So that's cute. Um, but I know that I will cry with this one because I cried in the movie. And look, it's illustrated as well. Ah, that's so pretty. If you didn't know, Bridge of Terabithia is just about two kids imagining a world called Terabithia and they build a bridge. It's, it's more of like an imagination sort of thing and something a little tragic happens at the end, but I'm not gonna spoil what that is, but it's really, really great. If you haven't watched the movie, watch it because it's, it's so good. I cannot wait to see the difference between the book and the movies. And if there isn't, then that's amazing. The next one I have, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is funny because this is actually a free book from an order that I got from Facebook Marketplace. I'm like, oh, I cannot believe the seller is giving a free book. And I do have The Night Circus already. It's my second favorite book of all time, but I am collecting mass copy paperbacks. So this was just perfect to get. If you don't know, Night Circus is just about a circus running around. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's, it's deeper than that. It's about a competition between two magicians, but they don't even know what they have to do to win. It's, yeah, it's just great. It's a very, very great atmospheric book. And you should check it out if you haven't because it's really amazing. Yeah, I just really love this because it's going to be part of my mass paperback collection. It's just it's so cute. I love these small books. The next one is the only romance book that I have. Oh, that's a scam. Anyway, um, it's the only romance book that I have in this haul, which is disgusting. <laughs> I need to buy more romance books, to be honest. Um, so it's Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So this is the book that I see everywhere, except for my freaking bookstore. But I went to the bookstore today, and I just actually got this today. <laughs> I went to, to the nearest bookstore today, and I found it. I saw it, and I'm like, yep, just get it. Because by tomorrow, there might, there might be out of stock already, because I swear to God, I have been seeing this everywhere in social media, and I just want to read it. Now I have it. I'm just so happy that I have it, finally. It's about a love story of the first son of the United States and the British prince. 
as I know. That's all I know, and that's all I want to know. Uh, I think it's enemies to lovers, but I'm not 100% sure. I cannot wait to read this. I'm probably going to read it next month for like Valentine's Day mood. And just, uh, I cannot wait to see the hype of this book. It's just everywhere. And I'm just so happy that I have it in my hands. I cannot, I cannot even believe that I have it right now because it's always out of stock everywhere. So I'm just, uh, I'm just so happy that it's right here with me. So the next ones are comic books. <laughs> if you've seen my previous vlog, you might have seen these already, but it's Eternals and Hawkeye. Uh, this is a Halloween comic book extravaganza copy, and this is a preview. And this Eternals, it's not really the Eternals volume, it's previews of Marvel's next comics. I also have Loki, Agent of Asgard, the complete edition. It's very, very chunky, and I cannot wait to get into it. Like, it look is so pretty. Huh, I'm gonna have a comic book addiction real soon, I'm sure of it. Oh, look how pretty that is. Ah. The next one, I actually don't know anything about. Um, so it is The Violent Delights by Micah Nemer... Shit. Nemerever by Micah Nev Nemerever. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but this is actually a recommendation by my good friend Kristen in Instagram. She has been raving about this book. And she said that there are so many quotable quotes and... The whole book, the writing is just so beautiful. I honestly don't know what this is about. I, I'm just so happy that I have a copy because I'm 100% sure I'm gonna annotate the shit out of it. I can see like Kristen's stories and most of the pages in this book is annotated and I cannot wait to just discover new quotes and stuff. Ugh. Amazing. And I got this pre-loved as well. I got a really good deal with this one. It's from Facebook Marketplace as well. So it's, oh, I love it. Oh, mwah. Last but not least, this is a book set. You might have seen this already if you've watched so a vlog. I don't know which one, I forgot. Um, but if you watch like a vlog of mine, you might have seen this already. And I saw this. This is pre-loved as well. I'm very lucky with pre-loved books because they are a steal. <laughs> so it is the Shades of Magic series by V. Schwab and it's the collector's edition as well. I am in love with this. It's such good shape except for the box but I don't really mind. Like for a pre-loved copy of these, they are so well kept. There's no damages except for the box, but I don't really mind. It's just, ugh, they're just so beautiful. So A Darker Shade of Magic, all I know about it is there's three kinds of Londons. So it's more of a dimension story, I think. That's all I know. And again, I really want to get into books not knowing anything. So I'm so excited for this. <sighs> I'm just... I'm super excited to read this because V.E. Schwab and also I've been to London a couple times and I cannot wait to see it again in different dimensions and stuff. It's just ah, so exciting. So yeah, that's about it. So what do you suggest I get through first in these hauls? I will probably most likely finish Cytonic and A Sky Beyond the Storm real soon and will head straight to Red, White, and Royal Blue. Because, oh, I cannot wait for this. I just, ah, I'm so happy. I ju I'm just really so happy that I have it in my hands. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I know this is a very quick video and not very informative as I wish, but uh, I just really wanted to show you guys my haul and I just really wanted to actually have my first ever book haul video in this channel. It's really, really fun. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here and if you like what you see, maybe considering hitting that subscribe button and that like button. I'm still not really good at self-promoting, but yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!